Tying up to a mooring ball can be quite intimidating. Today we're going to show you how to make it easy. So what we're going to go over today are some of the basics for uh, tying up to a mooring ball. Uh, the first thing uh, I think is having a good first mate. Somebody that you communicate with uh, very well and uh, someone who's knowledgeable uh, and not intimidated uh, by doing something in a hurry. Uh, the next thing is you and the first mate preparing the boat prior to arriving at the mooring ball, which you can see here is what we're doing now before we even get under the bridge and the mooring ball in this case is to the left side on the other side of the bridge we already have the line prepared you can see it on the starboard side we have a boat hook out and we're generally ready to go uh, the other thing is uh, I'm communicating with the first mate who in this case is my son Anthony uh, and asking him to identify the mooring ball for me, uh, for me. These mooring balls in this particular field have a little dish on top with that they wind the uh, line into that we're going to be tying off on. And then they also have a number on the side. And sometimes as the captain, uh, especially with a boat with a long bow, it's a little bit harder uh, for us to see that information while we're trying to worry about traffic in the area and everything else. But um, having a first mate who can uh, point that out and point you in the right direction is exactly what you need. Right. Um, the other thing, and you'll see Anthony do this in this case, is making large signal moves. So you'll see him uh, Looks like taking it. his right arm or yep. left arm and moving it over his head and holding it straight up and moving it down so he can direct me exactly to where the mooring ball is. There he goes. Um, and that way, by making these large uh. gestures, there's no doubt. So if for some reason I can't hear him as well as I would like, um, then at least I can see where he's pointing it. to so I know where I have to go. Now, in this particular case, you can see him. He's getting ready to grab the line. And um, as the you, captain, you I, I approached it too fast. So, uh, you know, taking full responsibility right for there. that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and back it up and maneuver it to where I can give him another clear shot at that mooring ball. Uh, as you saw from, from, the, uh, from his first attempt, that dish on top, it's a matter of him getting the boat hook into that dish to grab the line. Anthony's really good at this. He's done it multiple times. Uh, he's been a, a great first mate since he was a young boy. He's now a young man and uh, he has a lot of years experience boating. So I feel very confident that he will do very well on our next attempt. As you can see here, I'm maneuvering the bow um, and turning the boat to where we're gonna head over to the mooring ball. And he's got the boat hook extended fully, grabs it within just a few seconds and lifts the line up. Now, because he right. already has the other uh, line attached to one of the cleats on the bow, he's ready to go. He doesn't have to fumble and, and do other things. And um, he's going to go ahead now, run the line through the eye at the end of the mooring ball, uh, and prepare to tie that off. It's a very successful run. And um, right, now, uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of current today. Uh, we actually plan to be up uh, to this area at slack tide. Uh, so we're right at the end, I think, of high tide, uh, and it's getting ready to shift to low tide. But we've got about 45 minutes to an hour where the tide's just not moving either in or out. Um, after that's done, um, I get up to the bow and I'm oh, yeah. making sure that everything is uh, the way it needs yeah. to be. As the captain, it's ultimately my responsibility. So I'm going ahead and tying it off to the cleat. There you go. We'll have to touch that mic, Dad. Yeah, we can. I haven't done it yet. I haven't really gotten to use any of the equipment. Oh, we got it. We can make some good film. <laughs> That's it. That's pretty sweet, man. Yeah. Good job. So what we'll do is 
um, we'll run it through. <sighs> We'll run another one through just as a backup, so in case. You know. On the same cleats, or? Yeah. Right. So, so as I just said, um, if you were, were not able to hear me, is that I am tying a second line through, um, just in case. I mean, you can see in this case we're very close to the bridge, uh, and also you're going to be around other boats, so you never know. Just put a second line in there, and that way you'll sleep a little bit easier tonight, knowing that you have a backup in place. So be prepared in advance, have your lines ready to go, have a good first mate, and uh, go at slack tide whenever possible. Well, I hope today, if you've never done this before, that we've kind of taken the mystery out of it for you, and if there's one thing you learn, it's be prepared in advance before approaching the mooring ball. Um, if you would, I, I would love it if you would like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It would really help us out a lot, and until next time, lead an incredible life. Thank you.